Hi everyone, it's Donna here and I just wanted to come on and show you my latest journals that I just finished. Um, this is my really first attempt at doing multiples at one time <clears throat> and I'm not sure I like doing that because I like working on one journal and just putting all the focus into that one journal and not have to worry about do I have six of this or multiples of some element. Um, these journals are for the most part all the same. Um, there are slight differences and I'll show that um, as I get to them. Um, they all have the vintage collaged, vintage linens and lace collages that I love to do so much. Um, so let me see. I'm going to do one in depth and then um, I'll just flip through the others very quickly because they're all pretty much the same. They all have the pages from the same books, um, obviously different pages, um, different uh, and pretty much the same elements. Um, they measure four inches by six inches. They are one signature. Um, and this first one, I didn't do anything to the cover because I want as I want the laces and linens to, to shine. This first one I've, I've named Hope. And they are all just held together with um, some coffee stained muslin. And this is the cover of Hope. Um, pieces from from doilies and all the vintage linens that I love to love to use. There's the back side of that one. Just a collage of, of everything vintage. I just love making these. I could make these all day long. And I have on occasion. Um, they have 48 pages front and back, um, 48 sides. Um, they have uh, designer paper on the inside, and that's um, they, they'll all have they all have pages from the same paper pad, but obviously different different pages. Um, there's a label for what the journal is about. They are chock full of laces, laces coming out all over the place. Here's one of um, the most recent ones that I've that I purchased. Little dainty, dainty lace. Um, all, all the um, plain pages are coffee, coffee dyed, and um, some stenciling and some stamping. Um, some beautiful vintage lace on this pocket, and um, on a ledger, ledger page, and the tag in the front pocket has more vintage laces on it and one of the yo-yos from that tablecloth that I took apart and then just collaged a little bit of collage. Um, this tag will be same same construction but slightly different different laces on every one. This is just a stitched piece of paper and that idea I got from um, Susie, Creative Cafe Girl and coffee stained with uh, a pattern. A page from a bird book with some vintage lace hanging off the bottom here. A guest check that's coffee stained with a little dainty little um, trim. This I just got in this week. I love it. Um, and I'm going to be hoarding it, but using it sparingly. I put one of the tiny, tiny flowers in the middle of this um, vintage tab, uh, lace tab. Here's the um, fortune cookie in this one. Um, just a vellum or a um, glassine envelope or a pocket with just a piece of coffee stained paper for more journaling with a uh, linen tab at the top and this is a playing card stitched to the top and this just flips open for more journaling in here and there's a fussy cut flower um, this is just a piece of um, coffee stained 
masking paper with a collage of stamps going down the side. Um, I got this idea from recently from Jessica Rapp. She did a um, in one of her tutorials, she was using the score tape and just collaging all along it so you have it ready to go. Um, I don't know if I, I can't find what I have left of it to show you, but it's ready to go and you just peel off the back and stick it wherever you want it. So that was a great idea. Thanks, Jessica. Um, this is just a pocket or a side tuck with a little flip up. For journaling, a page from a Sears Roebuck catalog, and then a journaling tag with some lace at the top of it. On the back side is a fussy cut bird, and this is a um, this pocket will be slightly different on on all of them, but this is a scan of one of my one of my documents that I got at the antique fair and then in it are a couple of German vocabulary cards and a greeting card that you could um, I just covered that with with that painters masking paper it just shows through the the, the cards you can tell it's a it's a card and that is on a page from a community cookbook I love the typewriter font on it. Uh, this page has potato burgers and sloppy joes. Uh, some coffee stain paper for writing with lace along the edge. One of my newer laces. This is a four-tier pocket that has little bits of ephemera tuck, tucked into all of the pockets. This is another scan of one of my documents and another one back here. These will all be a little bit different in, in all of the journals. Little bits little bits that I had in my stash. And this is on a page from that German uh, poetry book. It's in this great um, gothic font. And in the center of the signature is um, a page from that floral, Jesus, floral Jesium book. And then the very center is an envelope that was folded in half and um, glued together to make a pocket. And there's a uh, tag, one of my tags with the um, die cut flowers on it. A little collage down here with Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz people. Inside the front of the envelope is a little tiny ledger that I made that has just little scraps of different little scraps of paper, a little bit of stamping, just a little tiny baby ledger that tucks in there. And then on the back side is just a collage and a tag for journaling with lace at the top. There's that German poetry book with just a, um, it got stuck. There we go. With a piece of uh, tattered lace on there, one of my favorite laces. Another piece of vintage lace going down the page there. The back page of that uh, recipe book, more sloppy joes from a different person. Uh, this is one of my Toondex cards that, uh, one of the double cards that, that's folded. There's just a collage on the front here. A tab with a little dragonfly charm hanging off of it. And inside is a vellum pocket, uh, embossed vellum pocket with another tag in there. Place for journaling, a little mushroom, and another uh, tag for journaling tucked in the back of that. And both have the vintage laces that are hanging off the top. Uh, on the back side is a vellum, uh, some vellum butterflies that are on this um, Sears Roebuck page. Uh, stenciled flower here. Uh, a lace flip with this really gorgeous embroidered net lace there. Some lace across the top and this beautiful lace with a little, a little doily. And you flip up and you can write 
behind there. Um, just a little washi tape there. It's the back side of that bird book. More coffee stain paper with a snippet of, of lace down there. Uh, and this back pocket is a page from a humorous almanac from this page is from 1870. It's really really funny funny reading. And then a vintage photograph. Um, everyone will have a these three elements. Um, different photograph though. This one looks like a, a sailor on a horse. Uh, this is Joe, North Carolina, March 1943. And then this is from a um, souvenir booklet from Atlantic City, New Jersey, and it's the, the boardwalk. Those are tucked into that back pocket. More stenciling and stamping and some more lace there. And in the back pocket, the back tuck spot, is some extra paper for journaling or covering up some of the pages that have text and then a coffee stained index card and my handmade tag there. And there's the back side of this album, or this journal, and that one was Hope. Now I am just going to quickly flip through the others and tell you the name of them. Um, this one is Hattie. And this is the cover on Hattie. Um, I think of all of them, this is my favorite, my favorite cover. It has this beautiful antique lace here with an applique and more different laces in the back as a, a collage of all those different laces. Really pretty. And inside, oops, a little bit too close. This is the paper inside of this one. This is the tag in this one. They're all pretty much the same, the fortune cookie, the paper um, for journaling, flower, the same um, journaling card there, uh, a different image here, a different bird, the same card and, and tags, different little pieces of ephemera tucked into this one. This one's a Tim Holtz one there. And the page from the Floral Gesium. The same little journal. And the same types of tags. There's that, that vintage lace recipe. The Tundex card with the different tags in there. All of these long tags have owls on them. Different images, little mushroom. The same flip. Um, this one has a picture of a, it looks like a soldier. Um, these are all from the 1940s. And then um, uh, Atlantic City again. And this one has different Oops, different lace on covering the pocket and the same things tucked in the back. So that was Hattie. This one is Helen. Are you seeing a trend here? All women's names with a, with H. Um, this one, Helen, has a uh, doily on the front with a little um, applique in the middle of it, different pieces of laces, and a tatted, a little tatted doily in the back there. 
some Battenberg. Really pretty. And this is the paper. This is the paper in this one. The bird on it. Same tag with the um, lace flip in the yo-yo. This is all the same stitched paper. Fussy cut flower. Same tag. Fussy cut bird. Same things there. Different, um, different tuck spot. Little, little pieces of ephemera on this one. There's the page from the Floral Gesium book. Uh, collage with a Tim Holtz, the little ledger, and all the same tags. That tattered um, lace. They'll have the the butter uh, the dragonfly um, charm. Same same tags there. Butterfly same lace. Everything is the same. Uh, the picture in this one is of uh, two young ladies and a man. It doesn't say who they are. And another picture from Atlantic City. This um, this booklet was, I think, from the 50s, 40s or 50s. And then the paper in the back. So that's Helen. This one is Holly. And on the cover of Holly is a beautiful vintage applique. This part of the flower is stuffed with a little bit of batting in there to give it uh, some dimension. I got these, oh, probably five years ago, and I think this is the last one I have of these. And then there's some tatting trim. Well, you can see them better on this side. They go, they wrap around in this very tattered trim here. So that's the cover of, of Holly. Uh, this one has butterflies inside the cover. Um, different laces on this tag with the yo-yo. Same, same elements, fortune cookie. A flower. I'm going to go really quickly here because it's pretty much all the same. Different fussy cut flower. Different little little pieces tucked in here. Page from the Floral Gesium book. Another little collage there with a boy and his dog. Tag in there and a tag there. There's that tattered, tattered lace. Same elements there. The lace flip. Inside of this one, they all have a page from that humorous almanac. This one is a photo of a man and a woman. He's standing on a fence with his hand on her head. Uh, this was taken, well, it was photo finished in Denton, Texas, and then Atlantic City. And the same in the back. So that was Holly. This one is Heidi. Oops. And there's the cover of Heidi. Of 
piece of a doily up there and different laces and applique. There's that tattered lace down the, the spine. Another piece of that, um, that applique with all kinds of different laces. And inside the cover of this one is, that's the paper in this one. Here's the different laces that are on this tag. There's a fortune cookie. Fussy cut flower. Same tag there. Fussy cut bird. The little pieces of ephemera in this one. That one's a Tim Holtz, I believe. And the Floral Gesium book. A little collage of the little girl holding a flag. And the same, same tags. Same type of tags. The tattered, tattered lace. Same thing there. They all have the owl, some form of owl tag in the middle. And in this one, there is a photo of a man and a woman. Um, these were all from 19, the 1940s, this album that I got that from. And then Atlantic City. And then the papers in the back. So this one was Heidi. And lastly, if you're still with me, thank you. Lastly is Hannah. And this is the cover on Hannah. This one also has a vintage um, applique from that same collection that I that last applique came from. This I think is, I might have one or two more of this one left that I'm hoarding. But there's that really antique lace there that was in those grab bags from last weekend. There's still a couple of uh, lace grab bags left. Anybody's interested in the kinds of things that I use to make these journals. There's more of that um, doily on the back, more little pieces of lace collaged. And there's the paper on this one. There's a little bit of shiny on it, sparkly. There's the laces on that tag. These tags in the front were leftovers, offcuts from what I used to make the papers for inside the covers. Fortune cookie. There's a flower in that one. Pussy cut bird. Those are all the same, different, um, different tuck spot. These are the little tickets and pieces of ephemera in this one. The page from the floral museum book. A uh, little Tim Holtz man sitting on a on a label and tag. Is that lace? All of this is all the same. Butterflies. And then in this one is a picture of. Someone standing in front of Will Rogers Memorial. I'm not sure where that is. And then another from um, Atlantic City. And then the back of that one. So that was Hannah. So these journals are, are all for sale. Um, actually, Two of them have already been um, spoken for. I will put in the description box down below 
pricing and availability um, I'm not sure which of these two are spoken for but you will see it in the description box down below which ones are uh, which ones are sold um, so I hope you enjoyed um, looking at these journals with me and these would make great Christmas presents for your your crafty friends or your people that love to write I'm actually going to be making one for my aunt um, she has always been a writer. She always writes letters to me and my mom all the time and she writes inside of her greeting cards and um, I'm going to make for her a journal similar to one that I made. Um, I made a journal for my mom maybe six years ago, six or seven years ago, um, that I wanted her to write in her thoughts, her her memories from, you know, when her and my dad were dating, when, you know, when I was a child, just her, her memories. And I haven't seen it. Um, I haven't looked at it. I've seen the cover. And she, and that is a, something that I will cherish when she is gone. Um, so I will get those memories after she's gone. And I asked my aunt when I talked to her the other night if she would like to do the same thing, something similar, for her son. Um, she only has uh, one son. My, uh, I'm an only child, so I'm the only one for my mother. And she was thrilled at the idea. So I'm going to be making a, a big journal for her for Christmas so that she can start writing her memories to her son, my cousin. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you would like to purchase um, these journals, the information will be down below in the description box. Uh, this coming weekend is the first weekend of the month, so I will be having doilies and I have some new ones. So stay tuned for that this weekend and bye for now.